Sometimes we might intersect during the training, uh, hopefully for practical stuff like survival and things like this. We'll try to make it happen, um, but we'll see. In any case, you guys are in good hands, and uh, welcome. First day of school. <laughs> That's how we should feel. Lots of other colleagues um, who you will meet later on today during the social. <laughs> Without teeth. Without teeth. Okay. 
Thanks. Some people can manage it, some people can't. <laughs> okay. Then it's just better to be serious. I think I'm probably one of those people, but I'm going to try anyway. It, it's, it's better to be serious than to be serious, it's fine. I think it will work. We'll, we'll talk about that in the briefing next week when, when we're amongst ourselves and what are good things, good practices and whatnot, but I guess uh, you already know it. So um, if you like to tweet today, uh, yeah, I'm totally fine with us. And here's Columbus. So it's going to be your workplace for quite a bit, so come on in. And then so this mock-up is a bit more, um, yeah, High fidelity, so it's if you imagine uh, 400 cables coiled up in the corners, then this would actually be quite quite realistic. Uh, so like, my urban to maintain, so they they flip up space station for several reasons. So if you set the fan on high because you want to sleep cold, then it's relatively loud. If you if you want to set it on low, then it's down. Uh, It's one of the classrooms that uh, uh, we teach crews in, so usually the visiting crews come on here. And there, by the way, you see a good, I, I took that photo, no, a tomato bit, um, of the real Columbus. So this is the same. Uh, that's, like, uh, that's, that's okay, you can, you can, I, can, I can handle that. So, but basically, they look all the same. The connection to the Columbus are down here, so gas, water, uh, for cooling, everything on its own, always commanding from the top. Were you involved in building this? Um, a big effort to make it better this one. Uh, that's that's actually maybe the disappointment in the basic training. But at the latest for emission flow. All right. Thanks. Intense training. And so that's why they had the, the trainer here for, and partly what this trainer is for, to train the crews on how to... The heritage of this went over to, now it's now used in, in the year. Soon enough, and then you have the, the pressurized module, which is... Uh, the, the hull structure is the structural test model that was used for the shaker. Yeah. Yeah. Either go through there, but we can just no. We can off, walk around. Uh, walk around, but this <laughs> yeah. is quite realistic. This is also the the PRK, the 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 aftmost segment of the space station when the vehicle dock. When you get close to those, and maybe Chris can say a few words too, because he was one of these. I mean, it's even a bit more clean when it arrives because there's not so many things set up, like everything is neatly stowed on the on the same thing. And then you have to uh, take hardware. And that's that's what we call a half CTV. A CTV is, uh, is a cargo transfer bag. Part, yeah, the space shuttle. So the space shuttle lockers had exactly that size, so that they built a bag to fit in there. And so a one half CTV. And even in addition to that, um, your family can send out. The Did you say it was... If you want to uh, get a feel for what's between you inside and space, just tap this. It's two millimeters. Because I think every astronaut should get an understanding of where they're going to. It's covered with multi-layer insulation. You see uh, this one is on top and then there's this white stuff on top. But it's not much. Like, you really understand. Also, the structural uh, integrity is only given when the, the module is pressurized.
<laughs> just, just barely. But. Due to the training of this. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> that, must, that must have been the human behavior. Uh, 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 yes, and he has to be ready. Before your first mission, you will be a bit more interesting. Because we're condensing it in, into one year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really okay. But it's, uh, they say that you go to the and you scratch or copy and copy. The, the heat shield is right underneath here. So the heat shield starts here. Actually, you can even see it here. They, they built them up. And so this all separates the uh, Formian from the rest. That, that could stay attached to the ESM because both of them will eventually burn up. Just now, so it's not a it's not a good train. That's why you don't you're not gonna see it. We've had it in, in the virtual reality, in the space station, and the shuttle is huge. That's why they, they could fit a module like this one is even only half the size of what they could fit in there. So the, the jam, the one in the corner, you don't have it here, but it's like twice as long as this one, uh, just fits straight into the shuttle cargo bay. I mean, it's, it's amazing. It's unimaginable. Hold on. 